going on guys and welcome to a new video and in today's video I am going to be showing you the most underrated set that is never spoken about it might have been spoken about five six years ago but nobody talks about it anymore it is one of the biggest Lego sets that Lego have done not the anywhere near not anywhere near the biggest but one of the biggest I've ever done it's super expensive and I just hear nobody absolutely nobody talking about this Lego set in it, I don't know why. And this set has got over like 10 play features on it. And it's amazing. Not that I even play with Lego sets, but it just like blows my mind the amount of things you can do with this set. So probably you'll know from the title, but the set is the Death Star, the UCS Death Star. It's the UCS Playstyle Death Star. It's incredible. It's got 4,000 and 32 pieces, I think. It retails for around £410, so like $480, $500, I don't know, something around there. It is a set that I've always dreamt of having because this is obviously the second version they've ever made of it. The first version came out in around 2008, 2007, and was around until 2016. And straight after they retired that one, this one came out. So Lego has not gone a year without a Death Star really since then. And I always wanted that original one. I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. All the play features, all the sets, all the play features, all the characters. I thought it just it just blew my mind. But obviously they retired that one and now there's this one, which is very, very similar really, just with updated characters and they've probably finished off some of the features that they've made on it. And you just never ever hear anyone talking about this set and I just don't know why. Do you think one of the reasons probably because it came out in 2016 so it is a four four year old set nearly five year old set it's so different it is definitely a play set with some just really cool features i can't say how i think i've played with it well i haven't really played with it i think played with the features for like a day or two but then obviously i store it away because i don't really play with my like star wars sets but it's got so many features it's way too expensive if you ask me for like a 10 year old that it's really aimed at but it's such an incredible set so basically what I'm going to do is it's not going to be like a review, it's just showing you why I think this is like one of the best sets that I think LEGO has ever done. One, because of all the detail and two, because of all the features it's got, it's just amazing. So it's going to be a quick overview and let's get to it. So main thing is obviously the Death Star Cannon, which goes side to side, up and down. So this set comes with around 25 characters. So you've got, you've got lots of versions of different characters, so you've got Luke farm boy Luke, you got Luke from episode three. You've got Luke in the rubbish shoot. You got you got loads of different styles Luke's. A couple of droids, so you've got this droid that I think is just exclusive to this set, which is cool. You got an R2D2 C3PO. I think there at the bottom there's 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 C3PO. So you get loads of figures with this set, which is insane, which you would hope so. So you get we start off with the cannon, then we've got Another little cannon here, which is like, I do think you see this in the film, I'm not 100% sure, but I think you do, because you get the right gunners and everything. And then we'll spin it around this way. So up here we've got like a little control room, which is awesome. You've got this thing that goes up and moves Darth Vader's TIE Fighter down below, which I'll show you in a sec. And then here in the middle, I don't know if you can see, but let me get this to come up. Can yeah. you see it in there? And it goes all the way up to the top. So there's an elevator that goes through the whole center of the Death Star, which is awesome. And then like I said here, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, which is another one very, very similar to the one you get in Darth Vader's Castle, which is awesome. And I love how in this one, you've actually got a place to put it, because in Darth Vader's Castle, you've got like a room, but you kind of just put it on the floor. So that's awesome there. And here, we've got a cool, cool little elevator, which goes up like that. So it's like you're loading a ship or something. And then you've got a little claw grabber, which I've put, I put the, one of the spare Stormtrooper helmets from Luke on in. Rotate it around again. We've got Palpatine's like room, like where the final duel is. So you've got a couple of his guards, you've got him with his lightning, you've got his chair that swivels around, you've got this, which is where Luke's standing on. And I think he makes it fall, doesn't he? Like that, something like that. And then you've got these cannons on top that are moved by this thing here. This is like an interesting design. It doesn't. You have to start get get a grip of it because it's not like a simple motion. And here we've got the swing where Leia and Luke decide to go from this side, wee, to that side. And we turn it around again because this is a crazy thing about it. There's so much detail that goes into it. So up here, 
you've got uh, it's the conference room where Darth Vader, I think he chokes this guy or he chokes one of his officers at the very first start of one of the earlier films. Then here we've got, got the prison where Leia is stored. And then here, really cool feature, is if you put a character kind of here, if you open this, oh, they fall in and they go into the chute, which is where, obviously, 2D2 saves them from getting crushed. Like that. Crushed them. And then you've also, which is really cool, you've got the creature that is in there. On down below here, there is the creature that is stored. And then you've got the little creature that is actually in the in the room, which is cool. It's all the little things. It's the little things that they've done that is really cool. Then you've obviously got the Ben Kenobi, when he gets, destroys the power generator, or whatever it is. And then you've got the actual prison, which you can put layer in. So you open that, put her in, and it's got a door. And it's really cool is you have the illusion that the prison is like huge. Because if you look straight down the middle, you get the illusion kind of that it's never ending like in the film. And then you've here you've got a really cool open and closing door, which is really cool. Overall, this is just an awesome set with so many play features, so much detail in it. You could just really, you could look at it for ages and just check out like the, the mechanism for this gun is insane. I've never seen anything like it. Look at that in there. That is insane. So I felt like I had to make this video, one, because this set is retiring, so if you do want it, I think if you find it anywhere for retail price, go and grab it quick, because I think this is gonna be an investment set. So I know I'm late to the party to making a, a video on this set. Obviously, it came out about five years ago. I've only been doing Lego videos for like three, four months, but I've only just got the set. And I just felt like people don't forget about this set. If you want it, pick it up, like, if you can, because obviously it is a very expensive set. I was very fortunate to save up a lot of my money and spend it pretty much all on this set, which is incredible. This is gonna be one of those sets that if you want, even if you don't wanna build it, you wanna invest in a set, I think this will be an incredible set to invest in. Just because in fact, I don't think they're gonna make another one of these. If they do, I'll be very, very surprised. It will be, if they do do another version of this, it's gonna be very different, I think. It's gonna be massively different, different characters, different rooms, designs, and everything like that. So if you do want one of the original ones, I'll pick this up because after this year, if they do release a UCS Death Star, I think it's going to be like out for another two, three years, and they won't they won't do another one like this for a while. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for all the support on my channel. We are so close to 500 subscribers. Support has been insane. So be sure to check out the channel for lots more Lego videos. There is one of the recent vlogs is me actually going out and buying this set if you're interested in that. It was an incredible experiment, incredible day, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.